Hey, Dave here with Dave and Diane throwing caution the wind. We're at the Verde Ranch RV Resort, just outside of Camp Verde, Arizona, not too far from Cottonwood, Arizona. Thought maybe you might like to do a little drive through in case you're in the area to see what you might be getting into. Come along with us. All right, so we just jumped off of I-17 South and came out of uh, Flagstaff area. Headed south, took to exit uh, 287, I think it was. Now we're going to try and find our campground up here somewhere. So I think we take this, uh, in this roundabout, we take the first exit to Worshire Boulevard. Exit the traffic circle onto Wilshire Road, then turn left onto North Dream Catcher Drive. All right, then Take right the here. Take next left onto North Dream Catcher Drive, then your destination will be on the right. All right, so this is it, Verde Ranch RV Resort. They even the have... destination is on the right. <laughs> here the GPS. They even have uh, RV sites under a cover. That's interesting. late turning it on but uh, we left the office we maneuvered around a broken down rig now we're going to head to our site which is site 94 so this is a good time for me to ask that uh, if you happen to enjoy these campground reviews we do or some of our videos this would be a great time to hit that thumbs up leave us a comment maybe hit that subscribe button down below it really would help the algorithms on YouTube for us and help our channel appreciate it all right, let's check it out. All right, so this is our site right here. Huh, I just noticed I forgot to put the uh, satellite antenna up. Guess I better do that. So easy access into these pull-through sites. Our coach is 42 foot long, plus the bike's on the back. And you can see that I have plenty of room to unhook, pull the truck forward, and still have room before I got into the street. All the utilities are easy access, well placed. Plenty of room to park the car next to the truck. Not tight at all. And plenty of room for a nice little patio. So the sights aren't bad. All right, let's take a little drive through the park. So right here is the office. You're gonna pull up here to go check in. Very friendly people, easy to get along with, no problems at all. So now let's turn right, and we're going to head up to where the covered RV RV sites are. So when we first saw the covered RV sites, we thought, oh, how cool is that? That's pretty neat. But then as we drove through and walked around, a few things came to light, and I'm going to share that with you. So number one we use a satellite dish for our tv i'm pretty sure that being parked under the cover the satellite dish would be pretty useless and then number two while i was walking around there were some kids outside you know being kids and that's cool but when the kids were out there being kids they were out there yelling and screaming and doing the stuff they do uh, that really echoed underneath these covers so between the kids screaming and yelling, echoing, noises in general, and the satellite dish issue, I'm pretty sure this would not be a spot we want to be. But on the other hand, if you were able to back into the sites over here to the left, you'd have a pretty good view out over the RV park and out over the mountains, so that's pretty cool. And if it rained or if you're there during the winter and it snowed, you would be protected from the weather. So there's good and bad with both. Alright, so once you come down out of the covered RV parking areas, 
we're going to drop down to this section here. Now, this is right underneath the hillside where the covered area is. Now, in this section, I'm just going to call it the older section, and that's just the impression I got. So um, the sites seem to be a little bit smaller. The sites seem to be a little bit tighter. It appeared that there were more full-time residents in this section, and uh, it just didn't seem quite as appealing to us, but then that's just us. Um, you can be your own judge, but we'll just drive through here and you can take a peek. So the green building you see ahead of you there, that's the office where we checked in just to help you get your bearings straight again. And we're going to turn right here, and this is the main road. Again, once you come into the office and go through the office, this will, this will lead you straight down to the lower section. So we're going to cruise right through here real quick. So off the left, I'm going to call that more the newer section. And that's where we stayed over here to the left. So right up here to the right, you're going to notice one of the laundry rooms. You can see the roof right there. Let's go take a look at that real quick. And here's another facility down here. This is the uh, laundry and bathhouse number two. Looks like they have a place out here you can wash your pets as well. That's nice. Let's go have a look in here. So set up just like the other one, which makes perfect sense. Again, nice and clean. Nice setup. And the same setup, a little smaller to sit out here and watch TV. And once again, your unisex showers, four bathrooms or shower rooms in each facility. All right, let's continue on. So this is, I'm just gonna call it the lower section. So this area down here would be the closest to the freeway so here pretty soon if you watch it'll be off to the left once we get driving through you'll see some traffic driving through on the freeway so uh, anything up here especially off to the left backed up to these back ends on the left hand side I'd avoid personally I'd probably avoid this lower section altogether but that's just us can you see that traffic back there that's on the freeway that's pretty close but nice dog park the sites are decent sized just uh, next to the freeway. So we have uh, three pickleball courts here at the resort. You have one single sitting over here alone. 
and then you have two more courts over here across the street. And of course you have a playground over here for the kids. And you have a row of cabins. They seem to be pretty full during our stay. On the other side of those trees are some more cabins. You'll see them here in a minute as we drive around. So coming up here in a second off the right is uh, one of the clubhouses. We'll go take a look at that. All right. All right. Let's go check out this clubhouse over here. This is the clubhouse that's uh, closest to our site. Very nice metal roof. Nice rock front. Nice sitting area. Nicely done. Looks like there's a uh, book exchange back here. Very nice. Nice seating area. Patio outside. Spot here you can do a little work. TV. Small kitchen area over here you can use. Restrooms. Oh, look at the gym. Nice gym in here. I probably need to hit this a little bit. And the pool outside. A couple of TVs you can watch while you're doing your workout. Morning. Morning. Pool table and shuffleboard. And the pool outside. So nice patio outside the clubhouse. You have ping pong. Looks like uh, two hot tubs over here. Yeah, number one. And number two back over here. And then the RV site's back behind, as you can see. And the clubhouse. Check out the size of that fire pit. Have to come out and check that out. I'll give you a little idea of what it looks like at nighttime. Hardly anybody out there during our stay, so uh, pretty attractive. It's a spot we could hit that fire, get it going, kick back kind of nice
All right, here's a laundry and uh, bath house number one. So here's the laundry. Boy, it's nice. You got uh, TV, places to sit while you're doing your laundry. That's nice. Some information you can read. Looks like it's a uh, card type system. So two dollars to wash. It looks like two twenty-five to wash. and two dollars to dry this is a nice uh, nice clean laundry facility and then down here you have the uh, showers This one said vacant, so let's go take a look. Yeah. Nice and clean. Very nice. Unisex. All right, now we're going to go back up into what we're going to call the newer section or, in our mind, the nicest section of the RV park. We just left the uh, laundry rooms. Actually, right there is the laundry room off the side, you'll see. And then we're going to drive around the park. So all these sites off the left are all pull-through. In fact, most of the sites you're going to see here for a little while are all pull-throughs. All right, so to get your bearings again, the office is off the right. Just past those pergolas, that's the office space. This is the road we turned down on and went behind us right now over to our site. So all these sites over here to the left-hand side are all pull-throughs. If you see the tall trees off in the distance, that's down by the clubhouse and the laundry room. Now, they do have some uh, trailers here on site that show that they do... RV washing, and we saw them getting used quite a bit actually, and I bet they did a pretty good job. And here's another row of cabins I talked to you. So on the other side of those trees is where we were by the other cabins. The streets are nice and wide, so even if these were back ends, you'd get into them pretty easy. But the streets are nice and easy to get through. All the uh, utilities are in the right spot. It's, uh, you'll see the greenery. There's a, a, that's what they have for dog parks. So small areas for dog parks. But at least there is some greenery. And here we are off to the left hand side. There's our Ram 5500 and our New Horizons. All right, here we are coming up again from the back side of our rig. There's, there we are on the left hand side. There are bikes on the back. See our patio. And this takes you straight down. At the end of this road that we're on right now will take you down toward those cabins. And then off to the left would be the clubhouse and the laundry room.
And here we are, back at our site here on the right-hand side. Again, plenty of room for our truck, plenty of room for the car, and a decent-sized patio. All right, so if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got a good idea what this park's about. Maybe if you come to this area, you'll stay here yourself and leave a comment down below and let others know what you think about it. If you enjoyed it, how about a thumbs up? Hit that subscribe button down below. We have a lot more coming. And as always, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.